Okay, and now measurement division, so to speak. What it means is that we think how many times does the divisor fit into the dividend? Or how many times does it go into the dividend? How many threes are in 21? Seven. And here, in this division, how many one-fourths? How many fourths are in two? These two pies. How many fourths are in it? The answer is eight, right? Simply eight. Two divided by one-fourth equals eight. It looks a little odd, maybe, at first, because you're dividing something, you get the bigger number. But it makes sense when you think this way. How many of these fit in here? One divided by one-sixth. Think that way. How many sixths? fit into one? The answer is simply six, right? And here I made a pattern using those kind of divisions. How many sevenths fit into one? One whole? Well, seven. Well, how about how many sevenths would fit into two whole pies? It's, of course, double as much, right? Or t. And then we get, basically, the multiplication table or, or the skip counting pattern here, like that. So you can surely notice that these are like Multiplication problems, right? It's like 2 times 7, 3 times 7, 4 times 7. And that is truly the case, because each division can be changed into multiplication. A few more. 3 divided by 3 fifths. You can think this way. Okay, 3 fifths. I'll just count how many times I can get 3 fifths out of this here. I have my 3 pies here, and so here's one time 3 fifths. Second time. Third time fourth time, and fifth time. So five times. 